Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this course on structural vibration. I am Professor Arunasis Chakravarti from the Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Guwahati. When you go for structural analysis and design, then every structure that we consider, they are exposed to some level of vibration when they face their operating conditions. For example, if you take tall buildings, very often we encounter in uh, different cities. So, these buildings experience high level of uh, wind force. Now, due to this external forces, these structure often experience vibration. Not only these buildings, other infrastructures for example, bridges, they also experience different level of vibrations. And these vibrations are caused by different uh, external forces for example, wind, earthquake, then traffic load and there are many other sources of external excitations. Not only in civil engineering, if you consider any other branches of engineering, different structures also experience different type of loading. And these structures as you can see on your screen, they uh, experience different level of vibrations. So, when you go for a design of these structures, obviously the first step in any successful design is the detailed analysis of these structures. Once we do the structural analysis, then we can identify the level of strains and stresses and of course, the displacement a structure is going to experience when it operates. Now, with those informations, we go for structural design because we have to select the geometry and the material for that particular structure. If you look at the undergraduate curriculum, there all the structural analysis are mostly carried out for static loading. Naturally, the question comes in our mind, how can we incorporate structural vibration in our analysis? So, the first step that we are going to answer in this course is how to write the mathematical model for this structure, so that we can consider all the components of forces and their impact on the structural response. So, that motivates us to develop this course on structural vibrations, where we will start from the very basics and gradually we will develop the models for all these complex structures. Now, if you look at the syllabus of this course, there are four major components in this course. We start with the very basics of a single degree of freedom system. For that system, we start from the Newton's law and then gradually we develop the equation of motion. Then we first solve the free vibration of the structure and then uh, we identify natural frequencies and other components when we develop the mathematical model for SDF system. Then once we have the free vibration analysis done, gradually we move over to forced vibration. And then as we progress, we develop different solution strategies for different types of forces, either in time domain or in frequency domain. And then uh, we consider the response spectrum analysis. Now, this analysis particularly is covered in the structural design in your undergraduate curriculum, but here we will see how to develop this response spectrum and what is its impact on the structural analysis. Now, once we cover SDF system, then we move over to MDF system, that means multi degree of freedom system. In this module, we can consider the complete structure and identify all the degrees of freedom and then develop the equation of motions. Obviously, when we consider multiple degrees of freedom, the equation of motions are coupled. So, the matrix equation demands certain mathematical treatment through Eigen analysis. So, that we will learn, we will see the natural frequencies and mode shapes for a uh, MDOF system and how they actually dictate the level of vibration. Then we again discuss free vibration. Once we complete free vibration analysis of MDOF system, we then move over to dynamic analysis. And finally, we apply earthquake that means support motion to a structure and for that we solve the structure. When we solve earthquake response, then we will see how the response spectrum analysis that very often uh, described in our uh, 
undergraduate course for structural design against earthquake how that helps us to identify the level of response for a MDOF system. Once we covered these two subgroups SDOF system and MDOF system then we will discuss continuous system and for that again we will develop equation of motion for different boundary conditions and how to solve those equation of motions. Finally, in the last module we will go through some applications where we will use commercially available finite element packages and then using that package we will solve some structure and we will also see how we can extend it for structural design. So, with that four module this course will give you a basic idea how to go for structural analysis when we have dynamics of the structure and then once we do the analysis how we can transform that information to our design uh, provisions and incorporate these stresses and strains and finally, we can successfully design a structure. Now, this course is dedicated for undergraduate students and keeping that in mind every module will have subtopic and every subtopic will have different examples along with some MATLAB coding. So, that you can learn how to use this uh, softwares to solve structural vibration problem. This course is also helpful for MTech students and the practicing engineers, so that they can also incorporate this analysis in their design and uh, other applications. So, with that again I welcome you all in this course, I hope this course will be useful for all of you and we will have uh, live interactions where you can also uh, raise your questions and we will have a detailed discussions. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.